US vs India lays. It's been a while since I've watched another food or video. Mainly because I think they haven't really done that many US vs Indias in a while. But, well now they're back with lace. And I'm very excited about this. I really like lace. Because I am quite fat. So let's see. From calorie count to portion size, we want to find out all the differences between lace chips in the US and in India. This is Food Wars. Here are all the Lay's chips you'll find in India that you won't find in the U.S. And here are all the Lay's chips in the U.S. you can't find in India. Oh. My. Go. Fucking hell. That's... Why... Oh, it's mainly kettle cooked stuff. Good God. Yeah! To begin things, I'm gonna go with the one I hate the most. Spanish tomato tango. Uh, yeah. yeah, I've just never really liked this flavor. It's, it's very just mid. too heavy on the tomato side. It's like the red one, but... Oh, oh man, that aftertaste is horrible. I have nothing nice to say about this flavor. Also, just to note, our standard lace chips come in the ridge style. We do also sell oh. the flat style, ridge. but that's more of a special variety of lace. Next is West Indian. Ridge style? What ridge style? Indies hot and sweet chili, formerly Caribbean hot and sweet chili. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Get out of here. And now, I don't remember that being for the Maharaja of Indian Lays, oh, yeah. Magic Masala. If you haven't the heard goat. of this, you must be living under they a rock. Because this, is the... this is why he's the goat. The goat. The little it's emperor nice. of chips, commonly known as Blue Lays. Okay. Look at this chip, dude. Shit. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh my god. It's already so spicy. The reason this chip Apple's has become spicy. so popular in India is because they have actually managed to capture the masala of India so mm. well. And masala, if you're wondering, is like ground up spices that are added to every single Sorry, dish is. we eat here. Is this is truly magic. I want to know what they're like. Joe got himself some. Hell yeah. Oh man. And the chip bags in India are like much harder to open. Oh man, you guys got them locked That's up tight. Right. Like, it's gonna rip. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn, this is good. Mm. Not too spicy. Great flavor. Yeah. We have so Not many flavors. Spicy. I couldn't get them all for this shoot. I mean, I'll just start right here. Barbecue. This is like the classic chip. I think this is more popular than the classic, to be honest. The I U.S. Know. has, I would say, I at least 10 different variations of barbecue, possibly more. Okay. So I have just like standard barbecue. Is Pretty bold move like by Lay's. Salt and vinegar. Like salt and vinegar. I love salt and vinegar so much. I love it so much. Top I chip. Never Top chip right thing. here. Love salt and vinegar. Cheddar and sour cream. <laughs> Lamon. Hey, Another favorite. It. Oh, man. It seems like oh, wait. lime flavored chips would oh, be weird or citrusy it. chips, but so good. And these are like really limey. Mm. All the super fans watching know I do not like pickles. Not Cheetos, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, Better? Still not that good. Mm. <laughs> Last in this uh, group is a chili limon. I've seen yeah. that one. These are coming home with me. Yeah. Other flavors in this category that I couldn't get the time of filming. Cheddar jalapeno and sweet southern heat barbecue. Oh, I was yes, totally able to buy them online. I get a thing in the mail two days ago saying the post office is holding them ransom and wants five more dollars for postage for me to pick it up. Not happening. Really? I will not be intimidated by the United States Post Office. You keep the chips, all right? Also, what I couldn't get at the time of filming was honey barbecue, Chesapeake Bay crab spice, adobas, which is a different spicy chip, which is actually very good. I was bummed I couldn't get those. And the adobas. Doritos Cool Ranch Lays, unfortunately. They guys have the same flavor for everything, don't they? Let's now talk it's about two exclusive flavors that are in both countries, but slightly different. We have uh, the sizzling oh, hot yeah. Lays. And the American style cream and onion. It was oh, previously yeah. known as American sour cream and onion. Oh yeah. It's great. No nice. fuss. One of my favorite flavors. It's been there for like over two decades, it's I feel, okay. in India. And I mean, this is one of the good ones. Ours is just regular sour cream and onion. I also got well, American yeah, style so sour cream and onion I from India. American style in America. One after the other. 
The flavor on these are much stronger. And even says, really? now with more flavor, this is more flavor. I gotta say, I like these uh, India ones better. Uh. Up next, we have Sizzling Hot. Yeah. This is a flavor I've actually never had. It's I'm really very excited good. to see how it stacks compared like it, to Magic it's quite Masala, spicy, which is already is pretty good. spicy. Whoa. Yo, look at this chip. It's literally red. I swear it's usually way more red. It, it's usually the same red that's on the packet. This one. That's how red it usually is. That So the one he picked out is not even that red. Look at this chip. It's literally red. Not really. Oh. <laughs> nice. It's not as much a direct heat as the magic masala. Hey, it's a nice flavor. Mm. In the US, we have flaming hot flavor. Now let me explain. Flaming this hot. is flaming hot kettle chips. Couldn't get the regular flaming hot. We'll get into kettle chips later. It's like regular spice as a heat to it without being too specific. I think they use hmm. these red chilies right here. It packs a nice punch without being too overwhelming with the flavor. It's like the perfect amount of heat without getting too overwhelming. So. Okay, so we don't only have ridge style Surprising. chips. We also have some flat ones. In fact, they're called wafer style, oh, which yeah. I think is pretty much your classic style of Lay's. The first Fine. flavor is salt with pepper, oh, not great. salt and pepper. Don't you dare say that. It's very nice. I should buy this more often. I've never tried this before. Very good job. Absolutely. Okay, on to the next wafer style I chip. We have sun-dried sun chili. Mmm. I love sun-dried anything. Beam that sun ray onto any vegetable. I will eat it. <laughs> oh, what the fuck man. is that? Really think that? This is really good. They smashed it with this one. Got a proper kick as well. Ooh. It's really yum. And one of the most beautiful sights you'll see in India is people sun drying their own chilies on their roofs, porches, wherever. Biryanis, curries, they most all use... beautiful sight you'll see. I mean, that's a, that's a bit of a stretch. It, it's usually just kept in like, what is it, plastic bags on like a terrace. You can barely see it, what? How is that the most beautiful thing? Sunray chili. And this chips packet really has nailed this flavor. Maybe my favorite, kettle cooked. We already saw the flaming Hot the hell kettle cooked. Even is These are thicker chip. They transport a lot better, obviously, than as many broken. It's got more like a, really? a potato taste to it, a potato snap. It's like, <laughs> I love kettle chips. Sea salt, uh, cracked pepper. Yeah. <laughs> These are so good. That's literally <laughs> the salt and pepper <laughs> one. Mm. Just... Yeah. Yeah. Mm. 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 Sea salt and vinegar. This ain't your pond salt. This ain't your lake salt. This certainly is not your fjord salt. <laughs> Why is salt and vinegar so good? Attention everyone, my favorite kettle chip is about to be eaten by me. The jalapeno kettle chips. I'm not gonna talk about Miss Vicky's because this isn't a Miss Vicky's video. And I hate to say it, these might be better. Ooh. We got the jalapeno flavor in there. Not too spicy, so you can really chow down on these. Moving on, unfortunately, to something that I kind of can't stand are baked. Wah, wah. You get them in original, and you get them in barbecue. 85 Eating percent hard. less. Lace has something called the better Why? Bo what's the point of that? If you're gonna eat chips, why would you want why would you want healthy chips? Or you series. So we have these, and then lightly salted barbecue, lightly salted wavy. I mean, I want the salt, but like how much? Lightly salted, this really? Is what paper tastes like. We got simply sea salt thick cut, and you can also get the simply barbecue thick cut. We have something called layers, which are these guys, bite-sized the layers, crispy layers, tasty layers. That does not look like You get them in three cheese, Sour cream and onion. That I've like never seen this before in my entire life. Entire oh, the best stinks. stinks. Oh, these are these are really bad. These oh, are wow. terrible. Whoa, these are real chemically tasty. He says, "Oh my god, these are really bad and really good in pretty much the same tone." <laughs> he, like, I fully thought he was gonna say, "Oh wow, these are great." <laughs> That's. These taste like they're poison. And now for our next range of exclusive chips, we have Lay's yeah. Mac. That's max Drink with two up. X's. Why the two X's? That's like saying it's more better. I've not. Three would have made it a lot more questionable. And if you search a max with three X's, it's seen or tasted these before. Starting with macho chili flavor. It is 
kind of ridged but i would say it's more very what i would say it's super spicy i kind of mm-hmm. like that this one doesn't leave that burning sensation in your throat it's really nice yeah, yeah i i don't know about the branding but i really like this flavor next flavor yeah. peppery cheddar i don't think i've had that one wow all sorts of stuff happening here there's like some mint to it oh you know what this tastes like this tastes like malai tikka like chicken malai tikka What? dipped in pudina chutney this is very unique oh yeah I mean, our next yeah, flavor yeah. is I mean, sizzling barbecue That's oh the, best the reason this is called lays max very it's because it has max crunch max flavor and max taste and i can wholeheartedly say both of these have delivered Mm. Mm. It even smells strongly of barbecue. So yeah, these work. Good. They're great. More fun chip the style. Hell? I think we can call these What? the India style, but we also call them the wavy style. They are wavy, hence the name. And you can get them in original, reduced fat, honey barbecue, ranch. You can also get them in uh, salt and pepper, lightly salted. I don't think it's going to come bad. Low fat, if I didn't say that already. Like, the waves are, like, lighter. You guys have, like, really, like, condensed waves. Lay's apparently oh, yeah. wanted to answer the age-old question, how can we copy something popular and make it much, much worse? And wow. stacks were invented. You guys know what Pringles are, right? Of course you do. Well, no shit. Yeah. Hear that? We'll put them in a tube. Like they the won't break as easily, right? Like it looks. I see. No, it kind of looks like it. What is that? Children's toy or water bottle? Holy! F- Look at us. <laughs> oh, what the fuck, man! That is. There so was a point of putting in this tube. I hate this so much, but to really. prove my point yo dog look what i got by the way nice. paper too excellent idea dave pringle whatever your name is <laughs> yeah <laughs> stacks and now to our final set of exclusives the gourmet collection i have had a lot of I've gourmet food in my life and i've it. very rarely been oh, actually impressed with the food vontos cheese and paprika <laughs> Vintage cheese and paprika. Oh. If I had to taste this chip without any of the fancy packaging, I don't think gourmet is the first word that would come to my head. Thai sweet chili yes. gourmet. This literally tastes like the West Indies hot and chili, but on a flat chip. So gourmet is oh, wow. just packaging. That's what we've learned from this experiment with these two chips. I mean, that's always the case. With Skippable. Anything. In well. addition to that, we also have Lay's Popables. Popables come in sea salt and vinegar. Sea. Oh, Julius Pringle. That was his name, not Dave. They also Surely. have Popable sea salt and vinegar. Oh, that's not exactly an easy <laughs> replacement. Julius and Dave Pringle. What? Popable sea salt. Popable white cheddar and popable honey barbecue. Okay, I don't want to eat all these. What's the what's the cereal that looks like this? Is it Chex? Oh yeah. If you got these on accident, eat Why them. But I wouldn't. This? I wouldn't reach for these over regular potato chips. Oh, Here yeah. in India, our Lay's chips packets come in five sizes. There's 30 grams, 70, 50 80, grams, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80
and 26 grams, <laughs> aka the eight ounce bag. You've seen it a million times. Yeah. This is the one. Right really? next to that one That's is the, the family one. size bag, which I also couldn't get a hold of. 297.6 gram bag. I couldn't find it because the American family is dead. But what is alive and well is, of course, oh, our man. biggest size, the wow. party size. 368 you might grams. Not have a family All you familyless uh, partiers, Lay's has you covered. That means that the biggest bag in the U.S. is this much larger than the of biggest course. bag in India. But Shock. wait, there's more really or less depending on the packet that you get. Because according to Amazon, the weights of these different packets might vary. So they're given a weight range. The biggest weight difference ah, is in our largest really. pack of 174 to 190 grams, which is a difference of 16 grams. So let's see how much we get in one packet. Woo! <laughs> 175 oh, grams, grams one gram extra from what is advertised Ooh. which is i'll take it so let me show you what 16 grams of chips looks like so you can see what you're potentially oh, missing out on it doesn't seem like a lot but i think yeah. that's quite a substantial amount of chips you're missing out on to be fair yeah. they they did write 174 grams only yeah. on the pack. in the u.s our you flavor bags explore. weigh less than the original flavor bag huh. take this barbecue flavored lays bag yeah. It weighs 7.75 ounces, or 7 and 3 fourths ounces. Yuli, can we get in there? You see that? Thank you. Compared to the 8 ounce you get with the original bag. Okay, same price, less product. Now, Harry did research on that episode, so take it away, Harry. What? No, do your own research. According to Harry's research from the last Lay's episode back in 2014, PepsiCo claimed the reason that there is a slightly higher price per ounce for flavor chips is the added seasoning. So then, Lay's, can you explain to me why this lightly salted bag gives you fewer chips than the original bag? It's more money, but less salt, eh, Lay's? Check it out. The lightly salted, so less salted than this, also seven and three fourths. While we're exposing potential Lay's lies, this 28 gram bag in the US supposedly contains 15 chips, according to Lay's website. Let's see how accurate this Damn. is. And I'm gonna count all the chips in this 30 gram packet to see how many we have. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't contain one whole chip. Hmm. One. 12. 13. Those are really I mean, if we're doing it by chip related piles, 6, 12, 8, then close to 18 chips per bag. Huh. huh. All right. Well, I'll concede. Cool. So that's 24 chips. I would say realistically, this is like 20 chips that have been broken into many other pieces. But let's be real. They could have fit a lot more chips into this packet. And Lay's is notorious for filling it with air. It's actually it's nitrogen fair. gas, which helps reason. preserve the chips and also yeah. acts as a cushion to stop them from getting smashed in transit. I mean... Right, what would it have been like without the cushion? This whole bag would have been dust, apparently. But what is the air to chip ratio, you ask? Let's find out in a new segment I like to Are call the Art Chip Middies Principle. That was shit. That is possibly the worst joke he has ever made on this show. I am going to give that a, a couple seconds to rest in peace for the death of that joke. Hi, let's get back into it. Can I just say, this is one of the weirdest things I've done in my life. A generous 55 ml of chips in this pack. Now let's measure how much the packet itself can hold in volume. Oh, this smells so bad. 900 ml. That's 845 ml of chips that we could have had, Lays. I, I think to make it more accurate, let's do four, and then we'll fill this guy up, and then we'll divide by four, and that would give us the average of those. Does that make sense? Clearly. Dust. Smart. Smart work. Oh, man. All right. This is the real Can I please have method. the scientific chip crunching nunchucks? I Throw them. Ah, whoa. Look out, chip. Pow. 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 2.75 fluid ounces per bag. No That's clue what that science means. you can use. So now we're going to fill this with water. Oh, the whole thing's 20. We're just going to 2.75, 17 point two five units or whatever. Cubic fluid ounces? 
Even more interesting air information because of India's varied geography. The amount of air that's packed oh, into these hell. packets okay. is different for different altitudes. For example, uh, in cities of higher altitude like Leh in the Himalayas, there is the risk of these packets exploding due to the low atmospheric pressure. And so when they're that sent there, they're sent with no air at all inside of them. And so they run the risk of being crushed in transport. So they have to be ah. taken as delicately as a crate of eggs. Really? But what about oh, price? Man. This is our largest chips packet, the That's 174 dollar, grams. Right? And on Swiggy and Amazon, this sells for about 78 rupees, it which is, is about a dollar right yeah, now. Pretty, and that equals yeah. rupees 0.44 per gram, about 0.005 dollars. And yes, I did all of that math and conversion in my head. Here in the US, sure. if we break it down, starting with this big bag, the 226.8 gram, How aka sure 8 ounce. This bag, it's three dollars and ninety nine cents oh. at Target, or oh, three hundred and sixteen point fifty eight rupees. Yes, like, it's a bigger bag. I know. So, breaking it down per gram, we found. Can you imagine if you had to pay four hundred rupees for a chips packet? That in the U.S. Fucking the cost hell. is a two hundred and sixty percent increase was. compared to India. While we do enjoy our Lay's chips, we also have have a giant chip culture here in uh, Ah, India. In fact, these are called hot chips and they're sold all across India at stalls called hot chip stalls. Hmm. Where basically they have a giant frying pan and they cut the potato in front of you to these thin slices and fry it and give it to you nice, hot, hot, fresh, fresh. And so for 174 grams, which is the same as this, you're paying rupees 45 for Hmm. a lot fresher chips. So as you can see, Lay's is competing against a giant chip market here in India. Oh yeah, banana and chips. Doing well. pretty well, I would say. Now for the burning question, are there any questionable ingredients that are in your Lay's chips that you need to watch out for? Fret not because Joe and I have found them out for you. As far as the basic salted version goes, you're totally fine. Both in India and the US, they're made of potatoes, vegetable oil, really? salt. Warning! Warning alert! Here in India, some of our flavors have an ingredient called potassium chloride. In regular doses, this is completely yes, safe really. and it's a low sodium alternative to salt. However, it's also one of the three ingredients used in the three drug cocktail for lethal injections. Right. Too much potassium chloride will cause irregular heartbeats and boom, your heart will stop. So if you right. you've been thinking <laughs> of sure doing a Lay's mukbang, sure really be careful. Is. We don't have any of I'm that sure in the US Lays, but we do have food coloring, caramel color in our barbecue and honey barbecue chips. Certain types of caramel color can contain a byproduct called 4-ME uppercase I. Studies found that it caused cancer in rats and mice, leading campaigns in support of banning it from what? foods. Give me that it dancing rat! Dancing. All right. The FDA was like, nah, it's fine. It's Humans don't come close to the level of exposure that caused that rat tumors. But that didn't stop the state of California adding it to its Proposition 65 list of chemicals, quote, known to the state of California to cause cancer or reproductive toxicity, end quote. Another ingredient found in several varieties of lace chips here in India is disodium glutamate, aka Flavor Enhancer 69. No, not 69. Flavor Enhancer 627. But basically, it's you... I sure wonder why he thought... ...used alongside MSG to enhance the flavor of the chips. Both the Food and Drug Administration or the FDA in the United States and the European Food Safety Authority or the EFSA consider disodium glutamate safe. But it's not recommended for babies, children, pregnant women and lactating mothers and also should be avoided by asthmatics or people suffering from gout. MSG, if you're wondering, is the commonly misunderstood uh, ingredient known as monosodium glutamate, which is added to a lot of Asian cuisine and gives it that umami flavor. In 2019, Lay's sued a bunch of Indian farmers for growing a certain variety of potato, FC5 variety, saying it has a patent on that variety. This type of potato is ideal for snack chips as it has a lower moisture content. But... They Strike one up the liquor. The farmers' rights activists petitioned the protection of the plant varieties and farmers' rights authority, and it agreed PepsiCo, Lay's, cannot claim a patent over a seed variety. Obviously. It was revoked immediately, and the Indian potato farmers are now flush with low-moisture potato money. Let's go! 
So which country has the unhealthiest chips? Let's compare the classics first. A 28 gram bag of classic Lay's in the U.S. contains 160 calories, uh, 10 grams of total fat, 1.5 grams of saturated fat, 15 grams of carbs, and 170 milligrams of sodium. Okay, so our Lay's nutrition is per 100 grams, so I did a little bit of math to compare it to the U.S. 28 grams. Actually, Joe did the math, so if the math is wrong, blame Joe. Okay, so we have 154.8 calories, total fat 9.8 grams, of which saturates are 3.7 grams, carbs are 14.7 grams, and sodium 142.8 milligrams. Wow, that was pretty close actually. We're under the US in every metric except for saturated fats, where we are over 164%. And I think that's because we use palmoline oil to fry our chips and it's very high in saturated fats unlike the US vegetable oil. What about the least healthiest chip in each country? Over here, there are a lot of them that are tied to 160 calories per 28 gram bag. Hmm. Show list. But we did find that the 160 calorie chips with the highest fat content are these. No, the cheddar and sour cream. I love these guys. Making them the least healthy. If I did have a bag that small, what? it would contain all of this. It really and uh, here in They're India, our highest same. calorific They're chip is Just classic really. salted. How lame? How is this the most calorific chip we sell here, Lays? If I had to that run an extra shit. mile, it wouldn't be for okay. classic salted. So you know what the next most calorific Sorry. chip is? Magic masala, baby. Blue Lays. We the had to end with one. this one. Super calorific. I don't know why I'm proud That's of that. It. But uh, good, Wait, great to know even, that even this... this is like three calories or kilo calories ahead. That's it. They are the is ones... and forever will be the, the Maharaja like of Lays. The In the interest of the science, I will taste things. this liquid. If so I do this, less. make sure to subscribe to the Food Insider channel. Yeah. Uh. I didn't. I never thought you could drink a fart That's until today. The that was quite. Seen. It was like potato, potato water. With a hint of salt. What the hell, man? That was shit. What a weird way to end the video. Overall, it's quite a good video, though. Quite entertaining. Quite like food was.